Hey everyone, um, so I am packing for my trip and I have my like toiletries packed and I was just thinking I could go through them real quick and show everyone like what I take. I know I already did a video a long time ago on like a list, but yeah, I'm just going to go through them real quick and hopefully someone wants to see that. So I have no makeup on and my hair is a frizz ball. I used that Lush shampoo bar sample and it was, it just made my hair so frizzy and I don't feel good. So I started to get a cold, which sucks because I'm leaving Saturday. Um, I just, oh man, my hair, I just got over a cold. So I apologize for the way that I look. Um, okay. So First, let me do this one. This stuff is all Vera Bradley, by the way. I know that's kind of annoying, but I have a habit. So, this is the tech organizer. I went over these before, so I'm not going to. If you're interested, go watch my Vera Bradley videos. Um, inside, I have two, what are they called? Power strips. And then, this isn't totally packed yet because I'll have my laptop uh, cord and then also my phone cord and stuff like that. Uh, there's a camera charger, camera cord. My other camera's charging right now, so I'll have another one in there. And then I'll have like extra memory cards and the extra batteries in here, which they're supposed to be in there now. I don't know what I did with them. So this really comes in handy because it just keeps everything kind of organized. My camera's just chilling over here. Okay. Um, I have the clear lotion bag, and this just has sunscreen and then aloe vera spray in case we get burnt, which I'm sure I will. Look how pale I am. Um, and then I have three minis from Bath and Body Works. From they're the Paris Amour scent, and their shower gel, well shower gel lotion, and then the spray. And then when we actually like get down there, I'll probably carry the spray around in my purse. This is a medium size cosmetic bag from Vera Bradley. They are lined, so if anything, you know, bursts in any of these or leaks, we're good to go. So I have my deodorant. Ooh. I have um, a two-pack of Kleenex. I bought most of the stuff in the travel section, except for obviously my deodorant and some, you know, you'll be able to tell what I bought in the travel section and what I didn't. I have three packs of these Yes to Blueberries uh, facial wipes. I use them to take my makeup off and to just wipe my face when I feel gross, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, there's eight in a pack and sometimes to take my makeup off and especially we're doing the Halloween party so we'll have crazy makeup on. Um, I There's only eight so I bought three packs just in case. I know I could have bought the big pack which is what I use in my bathroom here at home, but it's really bulky, so these are easier to manage for me. I have a razor. Um, I have Crest 3D Whitening Toothpaste. <laughs> and then, well, I'll do that last. I have a fold-up toothbrush, which I got in the travel section, I think, at Target. Let me see. I know they're not the best, best, ooh, best, best toothbrushes in the world, but, you know, for traveling, I'm not worried about it. I have a little bottle of Advil. These came two in a pack, so this is my extra bottle. And then I have, um, I have my tragus pierced. I've had it pierced for a really, really long time, but I can never get the little balls on, especially with these ones. They're so small. So I just have two extra ones in case the one falls out. Because I just had to put another one in today. I mean, it lasted months and months and months without falling out. But for some reason, it decided to fall out today. So I packed more just in case. Back in. I have a bar of soap. I'm not taking my Lush soap because it's just too hard to manage. So I just have a um, pomegranate dial soap. You can get the cases in the travel section at any store. Um, I have some feminine products, which I won't get into. Um, I have a little loofah, which are a dollar in the travel section. I have, this is my shave gel. 
if you've watched my other videos, you know what it is because I've talked about it. It's by Green Bubble Gorgeous. They're amazing, but it's actually body wash scrub stuff, but I use it for shaving. I love it. Um, and then I have Lush Fair Trade Foot Lotion because we're going to be walking so much. Obviously, it's Disney. You walk, I think, like... Oh my gosh, I don't even know what they said. Like 16 miles a day and you don't even realize it. So, yeah. <laughs> and I'll put this on at night before I go to bed just to, you know, relieve my feet a little bit. Um, I have used this since I was, oh my gosh, I don't even know, like 13. Uh, it's clean and clear, dual action moisturizer. It's oil free and I put it on, you know, as a moisturizer. It it's supposed to help. It has a silic or is that what it is? Silic, a silic, a silic, silic acid in it for acne. As you can see, it doesn't really work. My probably because my skin's used to it. I don't know. But it does really moisturize and it doesn't make me break out even more than I would normally. It just doesn't help with breakouts. Um, and then I don't usually ever, I don't use this shampoo, but my mom does. She really likes it. And this was in the travel section. It was the biggest bottles in the travel section. So this is just Dove shampoo and conditioner. So I decided to buy those instead of taking a huge, you know, bottle. One thing is I do like, um, Disney's shampoo and conditioner and soap. So if I do run out of anything, I'm not like the shampoo and conditioner. I won't run out. But if I did for some reason, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. I mean, people actually buy their soap. Like, you can buy it online. So, it can't be too, too bad. And I'm not too, too picky when traveling because you never know what's going to happen. Like, one time we went on a cruise and I had left my carry-on bag type thing to get on the cruise. I left it in the car because we went down and visited with my husband's family and then I had carried like my morning stuff in a separate bag just to walk onto the cruise with and yeah, totally forgot it in the car and didn't have makeup, didn't have hair stuff, didn't have tweezers, didn't have nothing and we were gone for a week and I was like, oh, so I had to buy like the crappiest little stuff that they sell on the cruise because you can't get off, so... I mean, you can, but I'm not buying makeup and stuff in another country. Okay, unless it was like France or somewhere like that. Um, I have Moleskin, which prevents from getting blisters. This is just amazing. Well, it says it provides all day pain relief from corns and calluses, but you cut it. Which I also have a little pair of scissors. You cannot take this on a carry-on, so don't even think about it. <laughs> but this will be packed in my suitcase. You cut a piece and you can, you know, put it on your foot. I recommend putting band-aids on underneath this because it will hurt when you take it off. But if you put it on, if you start getting like a little rubbing on your shoe... Just put a little bit on this on and you won't get a blister. And then I have a box of band-aids. These are the Muppet ones, but actually I bought three boxes of band-aids and just shoved them in here. There's like Mickey Mouse ones, uh, I think Toy Story, and then Kermit and the Muppets. So that way I don't have to take like three bo whole boxes. They just fit into one box. They kind of rip you off that way. <laughs> Um, and then I have Band-Aid, um, blister relief, you know, I mean, you will, it's undoubtedly you will get a blister at Disney World. Like I said, you walk so much, so I recommend these. They're waterproof, and it says that they last for multiple days, so there's only six in here, but I think I bought another box and just put them in here. Yeah. So there's actually two boxes of these in this one box. And then I have um, Hydrocortisone, <laughs> just the Walmart brand. Um, it's anti-itch cream, so in case we get a bug bites or whatever, we'll have that. 
um, staying on the same thing. I got the Walmart brand of antibiotic cream plus pain relief. So it's first aid cream in case we get a cut or something like that. Um, I have two, oh, sorry, two packs of the travel Q-tips. Um, I'll probably put one in my purse. I don't know. I won't need them in the parks, but just, I like to, there's 30 in one, so you really don't need two, but I like to have them. Plus you can refill these with your own, you know, you don't have to keep buying the, I couldn't find mine, so. Like I said, I have scissors. Um, I have Static Guard, a little tiny bottle. Um, Downy Wrinkle Release, and I found those in the travel section. Um, a lint roller because I have animals and you never know. I have Pepto-Bismol, which they sell all this kind of stuff. At, they even sell feminine products um, at your Disney hotel, but they're outrageously priced. So this is just a travel bottle of Pepto. Um, I have other stomach medicines. I recommend taking all of that. You never, never, never know when you, someone is going to get sick, especially if you have kids. I don't. Um, I should have said that in the beginning. This is just um, for me. Uh, my husband's not going, so most of the stuff is just for me. And then my friend Megan that's going with me, she'll use, you know, like, we can both use this wrinkle releaser and static guard and the Pepto-Bismol and the Moleskin and the creams. Stuff like that we can both use, so. And then I bought, this came in a three-pack, or I wouldn't have bought three. Um, they're just the Tums that came in a three-pack. So, both, we both have issues with stomach problems, so. Gotta carry all of that, just in case. And I have anxiety, so. Oh, especially, like, Saturday when we leave we have to get up at like 2 30 or 3 o'clock in the morning to make it to the airport and my stomach always is upset because I'm so anxious and crazy I'm not gonna go through all of this this is just my makeup um, I will say I have hot pink eyeliner and this crazy hot pink um, lipstick for the Halloween party I also have hot pink eyeshadow somewhere from Hot Topic. Yeah. Look how pink. And I'm going to also use this as blush for the Halloween party. We're going as um, 80s, like pop star 80s type stuff. So we'll need that. And then in this one, I just have like all of my extra stuff, like a brush, a makeup mirror, my hair ties. You know, um, I have this Urban Decay All Nighter, um, which I have a travel one, so I might throw that in instead. Uh, spray. It's a makeup setting spray, and it lasts 16 hours, and this really, really works, so I recommend it. Keep your makeup on. Um, there's tweezers in here, you know, toenail clippers, whatever. That's all in there. Um, this is the Hipster from Vera Bradley. This is what I'm taking. It's a crossbody. Um, I have my Bath and Body Works uh, pair of some more antibacterial stuff. Um, can you tell I like that smell? Lucy. Um, I have my camera in this little bag. One of my cameras. I'm taking another one too. Um, I have my little EOS ball in one of these. I'm going to probably put something. end up putting something else in here. This stuff all goes in my purse. And then I have another, these are just the coin pouches from Vera. I have a Band-Aid band friction stick. They're like little deodorant sticks. You just roll them up. And then you put it on the back of your heel or wherever and your foot won't rub. I have a little pill case of um, Tums and Pepto-Bismol <laughs> because, yeah. Um, I have Dramamine. Megan and I both need this. She bought some. Um, I'll need it before I even get on the plane. And they last 24 hours, so you, I'm just going to take one a day just to be safe. Um, here's the other bottle of Advil I have. Stomach medicine. Um, a Tide Mini to go. And then I just have Band-Aids and those blister 
band-aids that I showed you. And then I'll also probably throw some moleskin in there after I cut it up. But I won't need it like the first. The thing with Disney is you can't check into your hotel room or you can't get into your hotel room until after 3. I know I've said this before, but I'll say it again. So anything that you need the first day, like we're going to get there at, we land at 9 something. So, or 10 something or 11 something, I don't really remember. But we're landing in the morning. So we're going to need stuff because we're going to hit the parks like right away. <laughs> so yeah, I'll need all this stuff. You either put it in your carry-on or in your purse because you won't get your luggage. If you're using the Magical Express, you won't get your luggage. My dog's licking my feet. And then I have a notepad with a pen because um, I'm on Talk Disney. So I'm going to write a trip report and TalkDisney.com. And, oh, yeah. My sister-in-law wanted me to write down, um, well, she didn't ask, I offered, write down what, um, rides are really jerky because she's going with us in January and, uh, she can only ride so many, like, crazy jerky rides before, before her back starts hurting and I don't want her to, um, so I want to make sure, you know, before she gets on the ride because I would feel absolutely terrible if she gone on and I didn't say anything and she couldn't ride anything or walk for the rest of the day. So that's what that is. Oh, and I was also going to make a note of, like, how much money we spent a day on food to figure out if the dining plan's worth it or not, because I'm not getting it this time. Because I got an employee discount, and you can't get the free dining or any dining discount or whatever with it. Um, a Ziploc bag. I think there's, no, there's only one here. Um, I'm packing more of these, like, in my carry-on or in my luggage. Uh, this is just for in my purse for the first day if we ride a ride that has water like Splash Mountain I know you don't get that wet on Splash Mountain but my purse is um, fabric so you know you can stick your or if it starts raining you can stick your phones and your wallet or not your wallet but your cameras in here so that they won't get wet so it's cheaper than buying a waterproof case and then I have one of these little fold-up brushes that pop out. You can find these in the travel section at Walmart. Um, I have one in both of our Jeeps. There's one in both of my purses. I have them everywhere. Um, a little, this is from Bath & Body Works. It's a mini lotion. I could also take the Parasamore one if I wanted, but. Um, and then I have this little tin. Um, it's U by Kotex, so it has feminine products in it. I won't open it up, but that's really nice that they do that. And that's it. Oh, and then I have in the front pouch, I have a pack of gum. Disney does not sell gum anywhere. You will not find a pack of gum to buy in Disney anywhere. Not your resort, not the parks, nowhere. Um, they don't want people, you know, dropping it on the ground, sticking it in on rides and... So I don't blame them, but uh, if, you, if you're if you a gum chewer, I recommend taking your own gum. I'm just taking it um, for the plane and then, you know, for after, like, dinner and stuff like that. But I'm a responsible adult. I won't be sticking my gum anywhere. So, yeah. And then I have one of these little ID holders. I don't collect pens at Disney unless I see, like, a... One that I really, really, really want, but I don't have a lanyard filled, filled with filled with pens, so I just buy this cheap one at Walmart. Hold your um, Disney ID or your real ID and um, your park passes. I'm hooking up a credit card to. You can uh, link your credit card to your room key, so or your key to the world card, so you don't have to carry your credit card around or cash or whatever. You just swipe your card. So off the back pouch I have tissues and then I have another coin pouch. It already has. We had these from our last trip. You can only use these in Liberty Square but they're equal to a dollar. They will, if you give them like two dollars and you it only costs one dollar, they will give you one of these back. You will not get real money. 
So you have to spend these in Liberty Square in Magic Kingdom. So I have four left. I'm taking them with me. That'll buy me a snack. It'll buy me a waffle, um, a Nutella fruit waffle, <laughs> which are my favorite. So, and then I'll probably stick my cash in here. So yeah, it's in there. It's in a zipped pocket in case anyone was wondering. Get that back in there. I have my ID, you know, my actual ID, driver's license, I should say, and cards in here. Uh, I carry this on cruises, on everywhere, so this will be down in there just in case that I need it. Um, like larger bills, stuff like that. Oh, I'll also be taking my Sigma makeup brushes. I have to. I don't have any other brushes. And then also. Well, I do have other brushes. They're like really cheap ones, but I'm going to use those for our Halloween makeup. And then my brush cleaner I'll probably have to take, but I don't really want to. And anyways, I'm going to do a separate video on um, packing my carry-on. I'm not really sure what I'm going to pack in it yet. I have to do that probably tomorrow or today, later on. Um, I have to go buy a crimper right now <laughs> for our 80s. We can't find one anywhere, and the only place that sells them, I guess, is Sally, um, Sally's Beauty Supply. So, I gotta go run there. But, that's it, and I hope everyone has a good day, and I hope someone got some kind of use out of this video. I know it's kind of, I don't know, hard because I don't have kids, and I'm not packing for kids, and most people that go to Disney have kids, but what can you do? So, that's it, and... I will um, see everyone later, and um, as always, please subscribe and or like this video, and if you would like me to send you a postcard from Disney or Universal, please PM, PM, wow, I haven't said that in a long time, private message, um, private message me your address, I'm not a creeper, I'm not going to like come find you, so um, I'll just send you a postcard and... I don't know. Some people like that stuff. I do, so. Um, what else? Oh, and I've said this on my other videos, but I'm going to do a, a Disney vlog while I'm there. So, because I love watching those videos. I don't know if anyone else is a Disney and not like me, but whatever. Uh, so, yeah. I hope everyone has a good day, and um, I will check everyone later. Bye.